Good day friends, fat to fit is here to help you lose fat, gain muscles and stay healthy like never before. First of all, thank you for being an important part of our story. We have uploaded 50 videos so far and the milestone was never feasible without your relentless support. For those who are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet. Now let's jump into the topic of our discussion today. We all know the benefits of aerobic exercise and resistance training, but what if you lack the right kind of resources? be it time or money. Why not try climbing stairs? A new study demonstrated that stair climbing not only lowers the blood pressure but also builds leg strength, especially in postmenopausal women. Postmenopausal women with estrogen deficiencies who are more susceptible to muscular and vascular problems are benefited by this approach. The study was first published in 2018 in Menopause, the Journal of North American Menopause Society. Few people would argue that exercise is good for you, but for postmenopausal women, identifying the right kind of exercise to achieve the desired benefits without creating additional health problems is more complicated than it might seem to be. High intensity resistance training, for example, is an effective intervention of reducing age related loss in muscle strength. However, it also has the potential of increasing blood pressure in middle aged adults with pre hypertension or hypertension. Now, you see, stair climbing in contrast offers the benefit of aerobic exercise and resistance training for improved cardiorespiratory fitness and leg muscle strength in postmenopausal women. Besides, it offers additional benefits of weight loss, improve lipid profiles and reduce the risk of osteoporosis. A study was conducted in Korean postmenopausal women who trained 4 days in a week climbing 192 steps 2-5 to five times a day. The study concluded that stair climbing not only led to the reduction in arterial stiffness and blood pressure but also increased leg strength in hypertensive postmenopausal women. The link to the study is provided in the description below. If you still have any queries or concerns, please feel free to add a comment and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. And if you do find the information helpful, please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more valuable updates.